Hello again. Long time no see. I haven't uh, put up a new video for a while uh, because of work. Uh, I work very hard, uh, contrary to some people's comments. Uh, sometimes my work gets very uh, changes for me and I have to update my learning and uh, training to keep up with what I'm doing. So, I've been uh, pretty busy lately, but I've also been busy working on the channel. Um, a while ago, it was brought to my attention by one of our subscribers through the comments that the uh, date of the flood and the date of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was incorrect in my chart. And I did look into it, and, and the person was right. I, I did uh, understand that um, my charts were off. And, um, but I wasn't, the, the topics I was doing, I wasn't really using that chart anymore. And so I kind of put it on the back burner but now we're coming back to using those charts. And uh, so I thought it would be a good time to correct the chart. Um, I, I will get into the chart soon, but uh, I just wanted to explain what was happening. And now updating the, the chart, the timeline of the biblical times of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the time of the flood, and those kinds of things. Um, what I did was I updated the chart for myself and got familiar with it. And then I went back and I, I'm also updating my videos onto another platform. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. It's a platform that rhyme, rhymes with Bumble. Anyway, I'm, I'm updating and expanding onto other platforms. So I thought this was a good time also to update the charts before I do that. So uh, what I've done is I've gone back through all my videos and I've updated several videos with the new chart. Now, if you've watched these videos before, uh, I'm going to list them out for you so far. If you've watched them before, there's no real reason to go back and watch it again. It's, it's the same video. I've just updated the chart images on the video and um, edited out some of the parts that I've later found out were incorrect or, or not. Uh, you know, any information that I've learned since I've made the video that uh, I took out that I didn't think was appropriate or correct. So, you know, this is a learning experience for me as I go also. I'm, I'm always learning more things. So, uh, you always have to be willing to test your truth. You know, the biggest problem with religious people is that they... Uh, they get stuck into, oh, the church is always right. We only listen to what the church says. And churches will never, very rarely, update their doctrine. Because they would have to admit that they were wrong, first of all. And it throws off, it, it brings division through the church. Because some people will update, some won't. So, you have to do that yourself. You have to always... Put your truth to the test and be willing to put your truth on the line. And if it is the truth, it will pass. It will pass the test. It will stand the test of time. And if you don't do that, well, you can just go on being wrong, right? So, you know, <laughs> I felt this was a big update, so I updated a lot of videos with the new charts, but the video itself is pretty much the same, so it's not really worth watching. 
you will start to see some updates in the channel to some of the old videos and that th I'm just telling you now what they mean what what it is and it's it's just minor updates to the charts is what it is uh, and also um, in episode 12 episode 12 is about the chart itself so I'm uh, going to be recording episode 12 now and and releasing it um, it's an entire updated video and I encourage you to watch that one because it's uh, it's a whole new um, understanding of the chart of a new chart so the videos I updated that are not necessarily changed um, other than the chart being changed would be episode 1, episode 5, episode 6, episode 7, part 1 and 2, episode 8, part 1, 2, and 3, episode 9, episode 10, episode 11, and now we're on 12. So those previous episodes, like I said, um, you know, if you've seen them before, there's not a big difference other than it has the updated chart in it. So again, I, I wanted to get these updates done and get uh, loaded onto this other platform as well. And, and when I get that together and get up to date, um, from going ahead from episode 12 we've kind of moved on from this chart in into a newer chart so the the newer videos don't necessarily have that chart that needs to be updated so i i haven't reviewed them all yet but i will be before i continue making new videos um so there's going to be a few more probably not a lot though because the the simply the timeline moves on and, and we're not really using that chart much and uh, but we are going to go back to it so it does need to be updated and uh, so episode 12 is the updated chart which is important to watch um, and then after that, I will continue on with what where I left off. I think it was on episode 25, uh, talking about uh, Levi and Simeon. Um, so, like I said, I haven't forgotten about the channel. Um, I guess some people are interested in more about my personal life. Um, I'm an auto mechanic. Uh, I've been... Uh, I started my apprenticeship in 1976. I've been an auto mechanic most of my life. I took a, a few years here and there. Uh, I was an artist for a while. Uh, but most of my career has been auto mechanicking. And I've worked uh, mostly in smaller shops up until, oh, about... 2003 where I worked I got a job in a Chrysler dealership and then I became trained with Chrysler Canada uh, for 10 years I became a uh, master mechanic in Chrysler and I wasn't too happy with Chrysler after a while because they were cutting back labor times to save money and uh, the way you get paid is by the labor times. I, I worked as a flat rate mechanic for 10 years and um, I just felt that I, I uh, needed to move on from there and I did. I got a job in uh, downtown Vancouver for uh, a firm that was uh, selling used high-end uh, European sports cars like uh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Jaguars, Rolls Royce, Porsche, um, and then some some classics, um, a few muscle cars, and you know they would pretty much sell anything that was like a toy, toys for big boys kind of cars, uh, 
but it was mostly the European sports cars, Beamers. Um, what else do we have? Bentleys, you know, Bentley Coupes. Um, well, we actually had the other, the bigger Bentleys too, and Rolls Royce and um, Aston Martins, uh, Audi, uh, D9 Audis. Any um, high-end sports cars was our main thing. But that business, I was there for two years. But you see, when I went to that business, I knew Chrysler's very well, but when you start working on different models, different manufacturers, there's a learning curve. You have to um, update yourself and, and catch up to the times about what's going on. With the, there are the technologies very similar, but there are a lot of differences and there's some new technology in there that uh, are not necessarily on the Chrysler's. I guess uh, you would see it like on the SRT8 series or on the, uh, the Vipers. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. And uh, then when that business went under, it, it was bought out by another, uh, by a Mitsubishi dealership. And, you know, I, I, my thoughts were, if I'm going to be working for, they wanted me to start training from scratch again for Mitsubishi. But... My, fe my feeling was if I'm going to work in a dealership, I might as well work in a Chrysler dealership because I'm already a master technician there. Like, why would I start from scratch in the training and start at the bottom? It takes a good uh, five years to get through all the training and get to the top. So um, I elected to uh, go, go on to things that I was more interested in and now I have a job working on uh, retro mods. Um, it's like uh, taking old old American muscle cars and um, bringing them up to date with uh, modern technology, uh, engines, brakes, uh, chassis systems. So again there's another learning curve. Uh, I, I, I was an apprentice on the old cars. Uh, my my apprenticeship started in '76, but in those days, like it wasn't brand new cars coming into the shop. You were getting 10, 10, 10 15 year old cars, like just like we do today. So the shops, cars, uh, most of our customers, the cars were like. 68s uh, down to the late 50s some of them uh, so you know I've sort of cut my teeth on the on um, muscle cars and and older classics and so it it's funny it brings back a lot of memories working on them sometimes I'm doing a job and it, it's a little tricky to get to and it's like all of a sudden I have a deja vu moment. Like I remember doing this before, like 30 years ago, you know, and suddenly I remember how to do it, you know, the, the trick to do it right or quicker, you know. Um, and then uh, there's a learning curve with that too because I have to catch up. I, I had to train myself and do some reading about uh, what kind of modifications that they're doing on these cars and, and what's available so I can be more knowledgeable about what we're building and what we're doing. So, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of extra time. Yeah, there's a lot of effort that goes into it. And so the channel kind of fell by the wayside a little bit. To When you're getting back to work and... and uh, um, you know, it's quite difficult to start a new job and learn the new shop and get into the mix of things in a different environment and working on different vehicles and different everything. And, uh, but the COVID, it's not, it, it's even adds another dynamic to the whole thing. So 
anyway, um, I'm feeling more comfortable with at work, and I'm, my life is sort of slowing down a little bit again. And uh, I'm, I'm, I've been working on these videos for a while now too, updating them, and so I'll be producing more. I'm going to be uh, you're going to be seeing all these updates coming through now. Um, so if you've seen them before, don't pay too much attention to it uh, until episode 12, which I'm recording right today, right after I finish this one. So it will be coming right behind this video. And uh, I was thinking about doing some different things with the channel. Sometimes there's things happening in the world at this time that you know, maybe I should be commenting on, or maybe I should just stick with the topic that I'm on, um, or maybe just have a different playlist and, and do some question answering or some other videos about politics or geopolitics of today or um, things that may be on my mind at certain points. Or maybe I should just leave that for others. I don't know. I'd like to hear your thoughts on some of that. And, uh, you know, I'm just putting these things out there for people to find. And, and it's just my opinion, really. And um, I feel like God is teaching me. And so I'm trying hard to teach what I'm being taught to others. And... I guess that's what we're supposed to be doing. And I try to keep an open mind and, and keep up to date with uh, anything I find out or anything I learn. Sometimes it's uh, I learn things and that maybe wasn't quite right in one of my videos, but I don't feel the need to go back and change every little thing. There's not much. Um, but something like this chart is, um, I can't just switch to a new chart without explaining it. And I don't want to have to keep explaining it. So I'll, uh, I, I went back and, and updated the chart in all my older videos. So with that all said, I will see you in the future videos. I, I'd like to hear your comments and opinions on the channel and maybe if you'd like to see something like the some of the other commentaries or some different playlists. Um, I was also thinking of doing some mechanicing videos and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if I, like I, I think it would generate a good audience and it would be a good sideline for me, but... Uh, um, I would just make a different playlist on the channel and just sort of what I do. Um, it might be a good way to bring people who are interested in the automotive into the channel that they might find the uh, biblical videos and maybe find have an interest in that also. I don't know, like an outreach. Um, I don't like to, uh, you know, chase people around and beg them to believe something that I believe. I just put out what I believe and let them decide for themselves what they want to do. Uh, but I've just been thinking about things along those lines. I do a lot of other hobbies, so maybe uh, I could put some of that up. Anyway, I will see you in the next video, and uh, the episode 12 update will be coming up right behind this video. So, thank you for watching. Bye.